everybody and welcome to your last week of remote learning. Great job for making it this far. I'm so excited to see you all when we get back. Okay, today we are learning the phoneme ow. Like if someone hurts you in the arm, you say ow, that hurt. Okay, so that's one way you are going to remember it. Now, this um, phoneme is called a diphthong. Now, I know that sounds really funny, but it's called that because it is two letters together that make a new vowel sound. So when we think about our vowels, we have our long and our short vowels. We have a, e, i, o, a, which are our short vowel sounds. And then we have a, e, i, o, u, which are our long vowel sounds. But here we have ow, and that doesn't sound like our normal vowel sounds. And so that is why it's called a diphthong because it is making a new vowel sound. Now, usually when we have ow as a phoneme, you can find that at the end of words. For example, k, ow, and w, ow. Okay, it's usually at the end of a word. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and do two more over this side, and then you can have a go on seesaw. All right, the first word we are going to look at is down. D, ow. Mm. Try that again. D, ow, mm. down. And the last one we are going to do is brown. D, r, ow, mm. D, r, ow, mm. brown. All right, kindergarten. Now it's your turn to have a go on seesaw. Bye.